Wagwa. This one's pretty simple. I think what I might do actually wet all my paper today and then I'm going to come down do like an underpainting and then just paint the grass on top of the underpainting just so it reflects my sky a bit sort of thing. Right so I'm going to have some like that in that middle bit like that and then just cut some blue. Pretty basic sort of sky really. That's just a, a bit of blue in there. A bit of a cloud in there, and then I'll just do the same at the bottom there. I'll do, I'll do me. <coughs> Mix some more creamy colour for me. Nice thick creamy colour. Just getting it to the right, exact right creamy colour. Over here, like this. Just got there. Oh, in fact, oh, I'll tell you what I wanted to do. I forgot this on the original picture. <coughs> this ain't on it, but I thought looking at it, it would look better with this on. So I've got a really distant hill there. Like that. <coughs> then this one's closer. That's it. Sad. Sounds a bad that. No. Um, yeah. Let's leave it a few minutes. I'm going to put another layer on that. Just mixing up this lovely creamy colour. Right, let's get a little blast. We dry it. <coughs> that look a lot closer now to there and then there's some uh, some sort of <coughs> I'm mixing uh, a bit of bond umber and a bit of Payne's grey into that I'm just gonna pop in some just some uh, farmer fieldy type bits something like that some little bushes and stuff and then I think across this bottom bit, there's some stuff. It's not like there's a biggish one about there. Okay. Right. <coughs> Some more coffee. So well, let's just get a little bit of green into that. Tiny little bit. Let's say that's about there, like that, and then another big one here. And then I can sort of imagine that. There's some big bushes and there are a couple of big trees. Oh, and a little eye bush there. So that's that. <coughs> uh, come back in some yellow now. 
<coughs> not clean my brushing out come in some yellow <coughs> I've mixed some Walker's green into it and then I'm going to go into that as well and even blend that bottom bit in <coughs> that can come right across there uh, yeah that can come across there this bit here actually comes up and over here a bit there's a bit of land coming over there like that and all so. Oh, perfect. Blend a few extra colours in there like that. <coughs> so I've dabbed back into some yellow. Come in some more yellow. Nice. <coughs> Dab a bit of water in. Nice, a bit more water <coughs> and a tad more rockers green in. <coughs> there. I think that looks nice. Um, I'm just going to come over this bit here a bit. So that sort of comes down here. There's going to be a sort of field there. What I think I'm going to do is a little dry. <laughs> looking at me a picture it comes across there like that's perfect <coughs> right um, see what colour I've got on here I've got my spiky brush just my little spiky one mixing some yellow up when I say I'm mixing it up my paint's dry in my palette so I'm just wetting it really, I'm not really mixing out. Um, I'll, <coughs> I'll come in here, there's a big bush. Right uh, yep. And then mix that into a bit of ruckus. It's green, and that comes down here, up here. Got to see it. Gradually getting smaller, it's getting further away. In fact, it will put it here as well. So I'm going to put that in there like that. There we are. <coughs> nice. Right, um, hmm. So, bring that across there. That's better. <coughs> That's nice. Um, right, I think I'm going to get a mix of darker colour now. So I've just got some of this up because green, probably chuck some, yeah, chuck a bit of burnt umber in it just to cool it down a bit. It's looking a bit crazy at the minute. Oh, that's getting nicer. You know what, that's perfect. So I've just got a bit of, a bit of Ucker's green and a bit of burnt umber there is. Well, really nice and soft because it's all still wet. Mm. That's that. <coughs> um. mm. Let's get oh, there's a big tree in. Let's go back into me yellow. Big tree here. Um. I'll say it's about that big. That's it, that'll look me. Mm. 
I see I need a bit of height as well. That's it, that's nice. Right. <coughs> Coming to a darker colour now then. So I'll get some more burnt umber. Left in the green. To make a darker colour. That's nice. I even chuck a bit of that blue in where that. So I've got burnt umber, a bit of blue, or oh, perfect, and a bit of green. So I'll come in like that. Like that into there into these bits and all all the same all the way through and then what I might just do is dry it and even while we're on the same colour Same colour. Just go back into it. So, that's it. Go back into some brighter colour while well, it's dry. And just pop some. Really nice. All I've done there, I ain't even still haven't washed my brush. Just added some yellow back into it. Gone back over everything. Get a bit more spikier look. There we are. That's perfect. Uh, <coughs> don't like this bit here. So I'm coming in with a bit of that yellow and just if it works. Just fancy blending it through a bit. Keep matching more. So I'll come in with a bit of these same colours there like that. Soften it all in a bit more. That's better. Just think that looks a bit better with that softer look. Put the water on. Perfect. <coughs> uh, right. Oh, nah. Um, this is the coffee, that's what I mean. Again, I'm dry. We put some bits in that. No, right. Ring a brush. Up a dark colour, it don't matter. I've got this a bit of the green, a bit of brown, a bit of black, it don't matter, just a dark colour. And then just, uh, just pop some, make this look basically just making this look like a tree. Something like that. Ain't gotta get every single twig and branch in. I'll say that looks like a tree to me now. Um, you can... What I try to do is go into dark bits. So dark bits look deeper and light bits look like they're in front. So I go into dark bits. See there, just in that dark bit there. Look. And then if there's a light bit, I'll show you what I like to do. See that light bit there? I like to go through there and then leave a gap where that light bit is so it looks like that light bit's coming in from see what I mean? Right, <coughs> so that um tell you what, while I've got this colour on my brush, I put my two bods in. It's Peter and Paul. You know the other day doing one of these paintings and I says I want one to come get re what's the word reincarnation as a bird because all they eat is worms I thought something worse the other day 
I've seen these people with their feet in these tanks, like petechial tanks, I think they were called, right? And these fish, little tiny fish, were like eating all the scabs on these people's feet, right? I just thought, you know what? I'd rather come back as a bod than one of them little fish. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I ever, I don't know if I believe in reincarceration, but if it's real, I don't want to come back as one of them fish. Right. All I'm going to do now is pop a couple of little sheeps in. So, I think we'll have them. This can be like me, focal point. Um. On my original picture, my sheep look bigger than this, what I'm doing them now. But the world's my lobster, I ain't got a copy of my original picture. And I'm thinking they might look better smaller like this, just a hint of something. So, that's how I'm going to do them. And, miles easier to paint like this. These are quite far away. In reality, they're probably scattered out everywhere. But, I want a focal point. Focal point. I f might put a couple just because there would be. I'll put one there and one there and a couple over here or something just to make it that effect. But I want that to be my focal point. Um, <coughs> I'm going to have to give that a little dry, I think. Just my sheet. See how they fade a bit when you go a bit lighter? Seems to do that. Um, <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do now, get a tiny little brush, probably this tiny little thing, and just try and put a bit of a low light underneath them. Um, get a little brush and just mix some colour up for it. So I'll just mix a, a really dark green, I think. Because they're that far away, I might not even bother trying. You know, I normally put the little heads on. I might not even bother. Because I don't think you'd see a deal of that from here. Right, that'll do. I've mixed a red dark green. I'm just going to come underneath them all like that and just put a bit of dark green on there. Something like that. And this is just... They, they do all have shadows underneath them. Tiny bit of shadow underneath them, and it, it highlights them a bit more when you've got that on. Makes them stand out a bit more. See how that's worked. Same again, that's a bit more on. No, let's leave it at that. That's all going to dry a bit lighter and all. Let me just Dry it just so you can see. See how them shadows have even dried a bit lighter. So looking at it, you get tempted to dab them, think, oh, they're too dark. They're not look now I've dried them. They're perfect. They just look like little sheeps. Um, <coughs> yeah, that'll do me. So all I need now is buh and duh. Bloody I don't think I've missed out off, have I? No, that's sad. Pop it there. Boy. Boy. Bertie. Boy. There we are. That's probably not a bad one for a beginner. I actually think this hill looks a bit odd, but on the where I was when I painted my original one, that hill was just like some brown growing in that field, so I just painted it as it was, but I don't know if I painted it again, I might get tempted to paint that as a green and not that brown colour, because <coughs> like I always say, the world's your lobster, you can do what you want, if you want to change something, something looks a bit odd, change it, 
on the original painting what I did when I was at this place that one there either I'll just put that in because it just looked better but anyway sit there on the beach wah wah